what's up guys welcome back or to the channel finally we've made it out here we're at scotch line in minden this is one of my favorite trails and i haven't been able to make it out here yet this season so i'm glad that we are here today and we've got the new and improved crv with us it's got 31s and a lift so definitely it's going to be interesting i'm pretty sure he has more ground clearance than the tj so it's going to be an interesting day We've also got Sachin in his uh, JL with the Extreme Recon package, the 35s. So it should be a great day. We've got three of us on the trail and we just finished airing down. So I think we're pretty much ready to head in. But a few of the guys were kind of uh, coming out on the ATVs and scaring us because they're going, hey, the water's really deep. My ATV started to float and I couldn't make it. And you have to make it through that first water crossing. It's kind of like the gatekeeper. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully we can make it through. Hopefully it's not too deep, but um, we'll do our best. You still have that ice? I'm, I want to just grab some for the cooler. Uh, if I rip it, it's going to start melting and making a mess though. You just like smash it and then you can probably grab it. Yeah. I'll smash it on the side of the Jeep over there. So it is hot today. So I figured since we actually lucked out and got some ice, we usually don't grab ice, but uh, Mike got stung in the foot by a bee, so I went and grabbed some ice. <laughs> so today, we can fill the cooler with ice, so that at least we'll have some somewhat cold drinks on the trails. And honestly, I should have brought some food, but uh, hopefully we're not going to be in there too long. So, uh, yeah. And big shout out to Sachin today. Honestly, I don't know how, but I kind of spaced out and I left my memory card at home. So this video wouldn't look as good today if it wasn't for him. He was kind enough to grab the memory card out of his uh, dash cam and lend it to me for the day. So thank you to him for letting me actually use my GoPro. I would have just got all the footage on my phone, but it wouldn't have been as good quality. So thank you for that. And shout out to Eric. Every single time I go off-roading with him, this guy has a thermocell with him, which is, I don't know if you guys have these in the States, but it's basically like a uh it's like a heating guy this thing has butane inside it has a heating pad right there and it heats up that little mosquito repellent pad you don't really smell it it has a light smell to it but you don't really smell it but it works great like it actually repels the bugs amazing i went camping this past weekend i brought one with me and it worked awesome so yeah definitely shout out to eric for that but now let's go let's get to the gatekeeper let's see exactly how deep it is and uh, fingers crossed we can make it. All right, a group just went through it. They said it's not too bad. So let's throw her in, I guess, first for this one. When you the clutch, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, let's just, uh, let's see how she goes. Eh, not too bad today, not too bad at all. Yeah, not too bad. Made it through. Let's see how the other guys do. Try cutting it a little bit more driver. little CRV that could. Hell yeah.
well that wasn't too bad it did get a hell of a lot hotter today than i thought it would be <laughs> but uh yeah so justine had a bit of a stomach ache this morning she wasn't able to make it so unfortunately i will be taping like this so bear with me guys but uh i'll try to get as many shots as i can for you And the camera never does it justice, but this is a heck of a climb. You're so close. There's a bypass if you if you want. Well, it looks like 1-0 for the Jeep so far. And I am dying out here, like I'm melting. Good job. For this next one, I don't know how well I can get a shot outside by myself. So I'm gonna try to hold the camera in here for you guys, but you can see she's a pretty good climb. parking spot and let's go see how the CRV handles it. Oh, it's actually a lot cooler out here. Nice. Go, go, go. You can go around. That was a good one, right? So as you can see, the CRV made it. But he's gonna do it again just for you guys. So me and Mike are gonna run it one more time, but I'm gonna get him to tape me and then I'll tape him go up it because I didn't get him going up and I also didn't get a great shot of us. So let's hit it.
geez, this thing's just manhandling these rocks. Somehow, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man and yeah like honestly there's nothing better than making a car do what it's not supposed to and for all the guys saying oh those don't belong out here things doing great like it's it's awesome and it's a fun time because if you have a super built rig and it walks over everything great you have an awesome rig but you're not really having fun because you're not challenging yourself this <laughs> this is a challenge jeez yo you got like <laughs> that back tire went like a foot in the air. Yeah, I think we should bring it back, good foot. Yeah, go back, go back. <laughs> it's just hanging. That's that unibody life. Flexing like your baby mama, right? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Flexing like your baby mama. <laughs> Even though I installed my custom AC, still, it's still pretty hot. I guess it's because I haven't turned it on. Oh yeah, she doesn't want to turn on right now. <laughs> I've got it plugged into my actual uh, like head unit here and sometimes she just decides she's not gonna work. This is one of those times. Job CRV. Oh God, but it's getting so salty in my eye. Jesus. So this obstacle, they call the V-notch. You can see you kind of have to get one tire there, one tire there, and just kind of crawl it because if you go on one side, it's a little bit too much and you might roll. Same thing with the other side. Well, the other side isn't too bad. But if you're on that much of an angle, you don't really want to rub your body on that side. So you kind of got to get one tire on each side and crawl it nice and slow. So let's go and hopefully we make it. To be honest with you, every time I come here, I end up slipping off of this side. Never anything like body damage wise, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can actually make it. You're good.
So I told him not to climb that wall until he gets to here and then to climb it up. Sorry? You can go around it. Yeah, and then get your tire like right there. Yep. That's it, bro. Easy work. Well, it seems all that flexing broke the two zip ties I had there on the front for the, uh, whatchamacallit, for the body mount. So my body mount kind of crapped itself out last time and the whole front end is pretty loose. So she kind of moves where she shouldn't. So I'm gonna just zip tie it through the grill to the sway bar like I had it before. And hopefully that holds in place because I have heard it rubbing while we were on the trail just now. And yeah, she is rubbing into the uh, overflow over there. And I do not want the radiator to touch the fan once more. Last time we had that happen, it was not a good time. So let's zip tie her in place and hopefully she stays put. Okay, there's one. And let's double it up so that hopefully it lasts a little bit longer. But it did last me pretty much almost two trails. All right, we doubled them up. Two zip ties on this side, two zip ties on this side. Hopefully that holds a little bit longer, but she's staying in place now. Whew. Sometimes those ghetto trail fixes are the best ones because <laughs> they actually work. And I do need to get a body mount. I actually think I need like three body mounts in this thing. I need a fender. Uh, my axle's got a couple snaggle teeth. Like this Jeep has been through it. It's been through it, <laughs> but she keeps on going. So I'm gonna keep on sending it and I'm gonna keep on using it. And I'm gonna keep on doing band-aid fixes until we can get ourselves some new axles or something. Because I bought this thing for two grand four years ago and I started beating the crap out of it off-road right away while it was stock. And I broke a lot of stuff. I'm probably 40 grand into this TJ in four years. It hurts to say it. It hurts to think about it. But when you guys start telling me like you guys, you should throw some lockers in it or you should do this or you should do that. To be honest, it hurts my heart every single time I put gas in this thing because I'm done spending money on it. I'm so over it. Like it's every single time I fix something, it either breaks again or something else breaks that's even more expensive. So the name of the game is keep this thing going on the trails as far as I can, as long as I can for as cheap as I can. And I do have another trail rig or another rig. I have a brand new 2022 Jeep Gladiator, which I just ordered some new wheels and tires for. And I ordered my lift kit and I ordered my suspension. So we will be getting a nice build going on that thing. And I won't be beating the crap out of it like I beat the crap out of this. So we're gonna keep having fun and keep sending this one while we build that one. And then eventually that will be our overland and rock crawling trail rig. But for now, uh, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy the TJ. And here's another water crossing for you. Frickin' boat mode! Oh yeah, boat mode! <laughs> Me and my yellow submarine. And uh, I shouldn't be saying that because I already hydrolocked one engine this year. <laughs> but there is a nice climb in front of us. That is a great rock wall. And hopefully I can get somebody to tape us going up it because it's super easy, but it looks super cool on film. I know, it's deep today. Well, let's see how deep it is on the CRV. We'll go up this way. Yeah, I just need that. 
Oh no, he's gonna lose his plate. Bro, you were this close to losing your plate in there. It's like hanging by a thread. Okay, it's back on. I pushed it in. Woo, that was close. So I'm gonna stand about halfway up and you guys can see the scale of this one. Like he's all the way down there, that little wee guy over there. <laughs> but this one is nice. It's probably like a good, I'd say at least 45, 50 degree angle. So like if I was to hold the camera straight, you can see it's got a pretty good angle to it, especially that little first bit. This one always gets me. It always makes you feel like you're gonna roll the damn Jeep. Like, sh sheesh. Oh my God. Like in a longer vehicle, it wouldn't be so bad because you get a little bit more of a wider stance. Like you get a longer stance and it kind of gets a bit more stable but with this little TJ she gets tippy she gets real tippy and we ran into a couple of uh, viewers I don't know if they're subscribers but they did say that they uh, watched my videos to check out which trails to hit and where to go on the trails so that's pretty cool but even with the 3.07 gears and the 33s like I am not touching the pedals and she just crawls. Like she'll just idle through pretty much anything. You can see like she'll walk right up this. And like that's zero throttle input. Now I'm holding the brakes, but you can see if I just let go of the, the clutch, no gas and we're moving. So she does pretty good for an old girl.
Well, the CRV's been doing actually really well today. Nothing to say about the, the CRV's performance other than it's actually keeping up. Well guys, unfortunately, I had a little bit too much footage from that day. We actually had a really good day. There was a lot of great obstacles. My cat's yelling at me right now, but it was actually a really good day. And I ended up actually breaking my radiator at the end of the trail and there was a whole mishap and a whole bunch of other stuff that happened there. So definitely you guys won't want to miss that. But I didn't want to cut out too much because, like I was just saying, there was a lot of really good footage. So I literally got halfway through the footage and we're pretty much at 30 minutes in the video. So I think I'm going to cut it off here and I'll hit you guys with the second part in a couple of days. And that way you guys will get the full story and you guys will get the full experience. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around today. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. We're trying to hit 10K by the end of the summer. So hopefully, with your help, we can get there. But until then, guys, ride safe out there. Peace.